ladies and gentlemen, to a monumentous occasion as we kick off the biggest week in Universe Mode history. We are coming to you live from the world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden in the heart of New York City. The hallowed arena has played host to countless historic WWE events where legends were born and unforgettable moments were etched in the annals of sports entertainment. Tonight, we add another chapter to the storied legacy of MSG. So get ready, New York City, and everyone watching around the globe, because we welcome you to Monday Night Raw Homecoming. Later tonight in your main event, the franchise John Cena gets his hands on Sami Zayn inside a solid steel cage. And if Sami Zayn comes up short, well, he won't be making the trip to Philadelphia this Sunday. The Intercontinental Championship is on the line as the champion Ilya Dragunov, the Invincible One, puts the gold on the line against Apollo Crews. Momentum is on the line in a big time women's tag team affair as the women's champion Liv Morgan and Alexa Bliss take on the number one contender Shayna Baszler and the nightmare Rhea Ripley. All that and more coming your way from Madison Square Garden, New York City. And we are set to kick things off with a grudge match of epic proportions. Two heavyweights set to lock horns. There is some bad blood between these two men. The Harbinger of Doom, Karrion Cross, and the almighty Bobby Lashley. We're going to take a look back at recent events in moments. The reason we are having this affair to kick things off here in New York City. Karrion Cross looks laser focused as he was over a month ago when Karrion Cross went one on one with Bobby Lashley at our last WWE live event. It was an open challenge issued by Cross. Lashley accepted and after a grueling affair tapped out Karrion Cross inside the middle of the ring. Really nothing to be shamed of and lost, but Karrion Cross could not let down the defeat. A few weeks ago on Monday Night Raw, cameras rapidly cut into the backstage area as the Harbinger of Doom assaulted the almighty Bobby Lashley. And as you'll see here, sent him right through a table, right down to the concrete. That is really what escalated this issue between Karrion Cross and Bobby Lashley. Of course, last week, in the midst of our Karrion Cross and Matt Riddle main event, Bobby Lashley sticking his nose in that business rolling away with Cross through the WWE Universe and sending Karrion through a table of his own. A lot of bad blood between these two fighters and they are set to kick things off in what is going to be an epic night here in Madison Square Garden. We are kicking off the biggest week in Universe Mode history with Monday Night Raw Homecoming. Live premiere event, we want to thank you for joining us on what is going to be an epic night to kick off to an epic week. So much great action coming your way right here tonight on Monday Night Raw. And two of Monday Night Raw's all-stars. With a score to settle between them. Can't think of a bigger way to kick off the festivities here tonight. As Karrion Cross is ready to run things back with the almighty Bobby Lashley. And I'm sure Bobby Lashley, even though he picked up the victory in their last meeting is out for revenge right here tonight in Madison Square Garden. And here comes the Almighty himself. And his opponent from Colorado Springs, Colorado, weighing in at 273 pounds, the Almighty Bobby Lashley. Well, business certainly picks up when Bobby Lashley enters the room. Lashley looks just as laser focused as his opposer here tonight. This is going to be one hell of a clash here in Madison Square Garden, the world's most famous arena. Legends have been born in this very building, and certainly scores have been settled inside the confines of these hallowed halls as well. Another one hopes to be settled right here tonight. Lashley got a little bit of revenge last week, as we mentioned, when he put Karrion Cross through that table in the midst of the WWE Universe. But tonight, Lashley wants to get it done again from bell to bell and prove that he is the better man against Karrion Cross. Cross is itchy ever since that loss last month. Lashley accepted that open challenge at WWE Live, and Cross has not been able to live down the defeat. So let's see if Karrion Cross can right that wrong in his mind or if Bobby Lashley truly does have Cross's number as the bell has sounded. We are officially underway here in New York City. 
So we have Monday Night Raw's All-Stars Lock and Horn still to come tonight. Intercontinental Championship is on the line. Big time women's tag team matchup. Steel Cage. Solo Sokoa issuing an open challenge. It's going to be a great night here on Monday Night Raw Homecoming. Actually taking the fight to Cross. You remember that battle last month at WWE Live for channel members only. Karrion Cross, he threw everything he could at Bobby Lashley and ultimately just could not keep the Almighty down. And it was a hard fought victory for Lashley. So Karrion Cross really had nothing to be ashamed of in defeat. We know how Karrion Cross operates inside of that ring and he wants to get his hand raised just as anybody else would more often than not. Having, having to be tapped out by Bobby Lashley inside the squared circle, not something that has sat well with the Harbinger of Doom as he takes down Lashley right there. Still to come tonight in your main event, it is a steel cage matchup between Sami Zayn and John Cena. Intercontinental Championship on the line as well. Apollo Crews contests for the gold against Ilya Dragunov. Aaron Cross has got Lashley in a predicament right now, and the boot scrape. Lashley may be knocked out cold in the early going. And Lashley popping a shoulder up. Cross knows it's going to take a lot to keep Bobby Lashley down. This is not the first time they've been inside the squared circle. These men know how tough the other is and how not so easy it is going to be to get your hand raised tonight. I'm sure Karrion Cross has watched back the footage from WWE Live over and over again over the past month trying to figure out where he made the misstep in that contest. Nonetheless, last year was the better man at WWE Live on May the 13th. But tonight, June the 12th, Raw Homecoming is a chance to write a new story for Karrion Cross and Bobby Lashley. So far, the Harbinger of Doom is having his way with the Almighty. Bobby Lashley's got to get back into this matchup. But again, similar sentiments, if you will, it's really echoing their last battle. Karrion Cross was really the dominator for the majority of that matchup, and again, controlled Bobby Lashley through everything he had at him, and ultimately Lashley was able to tap out Cross. A nice German suplex sending Cross to the other side of the squared circle. Never underestimate the Almighty. Karrion Cross, I'm sure, is not tonight. And Lashley now showcasing his strength in the Big Apple. Right off the turnbuckle goes the Harbinger of Dune, the almighty Bobby Lashley. Looking to go two for two against Karrion Cross. Goes for the kick. There's a counter by Cross. Lashley shoves him off. What leg strength and now a shoulder tackle. Simple yet effective maneuver out of Lashley. And what a minute, small package by Cross. Trying to steal the victory, not just yet. Cross may be looking for a victory by any means necessary tonight. Lashley is going to have to keep his eye on Karrion Cross and any little underhanded tactic or any quick trick he tries to pull out of the hat. Bobby Lashley now not able to keep Cross down. There's the Harbinger of Doom coming from behind, and Karrion Cross got some strength in his arsenal as well. Ragdolling Bobby Lashley, just that seismic throw there. Now Lashley gets sent into the corner again. Karrion Cross's wheels are spinning. And ragdolls him off the top. Lashley has tried to get back into this matchup, but Karrion Cross in control, at least up until that misstep. These two all-stars of Monday Night Raw battling for bragging rights tonight, but you never know what could be on the line. Future championship opportunities, future main event matches and paychecks here on Monday Night Raw. Everything rides off the wins and losses. Bobby Lashley and Karrion Cross know that very well. And both men looking to leave New York City with their hand raised high in victory. Lashley taking the fight to Cross, trying to just get back into this matchup. And oh, wait a minute here. Gotta watch out for that wicked witch. Scarlet at ringside, taking Lashley's eye off the ball. And it aids Cross as he goes into the pinfall here. And another one count. Harry and Cross is struggling to even get two seconds with Lashley's shoulders on the canvas. The Harbinger of Doom gonna keep throwing haymakers, keep throwing strikes at Bobby Lashley. Look at this, this is just vicious offense out of Karrion Cross, and this is where Cross is most dangerous. Wrestling his style of matchup, his pace, picking apart his opponent. Lashley just rolling to the outside, try to catch a breather on the Harbinger of Doom, who looks to be stalking the Almighty right now, and Cross with a knee off the apron, and Bobby Lashley may be seeing stars in this matchup. That was a stiff shot. Oh, wait a minute. 
Doomsday Saito on the outside of the ring. And now what? Karrion Cross is ripping apart the announce table here in your opening matchup at Raw Homecoming. Cross is not satisfied yet. He knows how difficult it is going to be to keep Bobby Lashley down, and Cross may be coming to this matchup a little bit more desperate tonight. Lashley trying to avoid disaster. Avoids the announce table, and down goes Cross, but Lashley's got to be hurting right now. That elevated knee off the apron, the doomsday Saito. Carrying Cross, his wheels were spinning. Lashley was able to avoid it, but there's Cross. Throwing Lashley into the barricade there. Business is picking up. This is how you kick off one of the biggest weeks in universe mode history. Cross and Lashley one-on-one -on -one with a score to settle. Harry and Cross continuing the offense on the outside of the ring. An onslaught on the almighty Bobby Lashley. It's very rare you see Lashley, and dare I say, an underdog position. I know he got the victory last time, but you see how this match is going. This has been a carrying cross wrestled style of matchup. Lashley is playing defense through his offense, and there's another counter. Goes for the drop kick, Cross avoided it, and another high knee out of the Harbinger of Doom, who goes for the cover, sees opportunity, but Lashley survives again. Karrion Cross is going to start ripping his hair out any moment. He cannot keep Bobby Lashley down. Cross is just trying to unload on Lashley. Lashley may be surviving, but may, or I should say, is he just delaying the inevitable? Because Cross has been in control for, I'd say, 90% of this contest. Lashley has got no answer. We said it a moment ago, we'll say it again, but his offense has been defense so far against Karrion Cross. Lashley is an underdog tonight, especially as this matchup progresses. There's another counter there, and Lashley able to take the knee out of the Harbinger of Doom. A nice shoulder tackle. Oh, and again, again, Karrion Cross and Scarlet not giving Lashley a moment to breathe here as Cross comes from behind to steal the victory, but Lashley survives. And a wicked whist of Witch of the West, Scarlet taking Lashley's eye off the ball again. Not even allowing Bobby Lashley to change the tide of momentum in this matchup. A right hand and a forearm will certainly help Lashley get back in control. And there's the strength out of the Almighty. Down goes Cross on the canvas. Lashley's got to keep this going. He's got to pick up steam. And there's another counter by Cross. Cross is not allowing anything out of Bobby Lashley tonight. And a second Doomsday Saito, this time inside of the ring. And that may be all she wrote. Not just yet as Bobby Lashley kicks out. You have got to be kidding. Carrying Cross, he doesn't have an answer for Lashley. He knows how to keep the offense going. He knows how to inflict the punishment, but Karrion Cross has got to be second guessing what he's going to have to do to pin Bobby Lashley's shoulders to the canvas tonight. Back out on the outside where Cross cleared off this announce table a few minutes ago. DDT right, in, right here at ringside. And Lashley may be surviving, but Karrion Cross is clearly in control of this matchup. Oh no. Oh no. Carrying Cross. This, this matchup is not a no disqualification. It's a simple one on one affair. But Carrying Cross, desperate for victory, putting Bobby Lashley straight through the announce table. Lashley has been laid to waste in New York City. And I think Carrying Cross is going to be satisfied with a count out victory tonight. Absolutely ridiculous. And Lashley getting to his feet, rushing towards the ring. Oh, wait a minute, Karrion Cross. Small package here. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Karrion Cross just stole the victory from the Almighty. Well, Bobby Lashley continued to survive, continued to fight. But at the end of the day, Karrion Cross inflicting too much punishment. Doomsday Saitos through the announce table, and then Karrion Cross had to result to that just to get the victory tonight. And Bobby Lashley 
That speaks volumes of the fact that Lashley is still standing on his own two feet, but Karrion Cross, at the end of the day, is walking away with the victory. And I, I'm not satisfied either. I, I'm, I can't blame Bobby Lashley. At the end of the day, though, Karrion Cross is leaving New York City victorious to kick things off here at Raw Homecoming. Well, we are here kicking off our biggest week in Universe Mode history. It continues Friday night on SmackDown. Of course, this Sunday it is the 2023 King of the Ring, but coming up on Saturday night, June the 17th, we are heading to the Hammerstein Ballroom in Manhattan, New York, for our channel member exclusive WWE Live event. Hit the join button down below so you don't miss out on all this action and more. The WWE Women's Tag Team Championships will be on the line as Raquel Rodriguez and Aaliyah defend the gold for the first time against Caden Carter and Katana Chance. Also coming your way this Saturday night, The Miz from Monday Night Raw has issued an open challenge. Who is going to step up and fight the A-list superstar in Hammerstein Ballroom? And we will determine a number one contender for the winner of tonight's Intercontinental Championship matchup. The Brawling Brutes Butch takes on the big strong boy, Tyler Bate, one-on-one -on -one this Saturday night at WWE Live for channel members in Hammerstein Ballroom. Well, this Sunday, the WWE Women's Championship will be on the line at King of the Ring when Liv Morgan defends the gold against SmackDown's number one contender, the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. Introducing first, from Elmwood Park, New Jersey, the Raw Women's Champion, Liv Morgan. Liv Morgan won the Women's Championship back on May the 14th at Vengeance, what some are calling the upset of the year and quite possibly maybe the match of the year between Asuka, the former champion, and Liv Morgan herself. Liv has been riding a high for weeks atop the women's division here in WWE, and of course that championship dual branded. And even though Liv Morgan is a Raw superstar, SmackDown's Shayna Baszler stepping up to be the number one contender this Sunday night at King of the Ring. But a chance tonight for both the champion and challenger to build some momentum towards Philadelphia in the midst of this tag team affair in New York City. And her partner from Columbus, Ohio, Alexa Bliss. So who is gonna leave the Wells Fargo Center this Sunday night live at 5 p.m. Eastern time when Shayna Baszler from SmackDown takes on Liv Morgan from Raw one on one for the prestigious WWE Women's Championship of the World. Alexa Bliss, the usual tag team partner of Liv Morgan, not their first rodeo team and up together, but a very interesting duo opposing them tonight. In the number one contender, Shayna Baszler from SmackDown, appearing here on Monday Night Raw, a special edition of Raw tonight. And standing by her side, representing the Judgment Day, the nightmare, Rhea Ripley. Certainly going to be a tall task for Alexa Bliss and the women's champion of the world, Liv Morgan. And here comes the number one contender. And from Sioux Falls, South Dakota, the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler. Well, Shayna Baszler has been dominating Friday Night SmackDown for months. Victory after victory after victory. Hence the reason she was awarded the number one contendership for the Women's Championship. Shayna back on Monday Night Raw tonight to try to build some one last stop of momentum before Philadelphia this Sunday. And what will be a one-on-one -on -one matchup of the tag team rules are at hand and how dominant Shayna's been. Liv has got to feel like possibly the underdog heading into her championship matchup this Sunday as she was against the Empress of Tomorrow, but we found that anything back at Vengeance that's don't count out Liv Morgan, even if she's the underdog, even if the woman opposing her has been dominant, has been undefeated for a certain period of time. Liv overcame the odds once. Who's to say she can't do it again? Shayna Baszler gonna be standing side by side tonight with very intimidating, eradicating, nightmare Rhea Ripley. And the mood just changed in Madison Square Garden. 
This is going to be a huge tag team matchup heading towards King of the Ring this Sunday. And representing the Judgment Day from Adelaide, Australia, Rhea Ripley. Well, speaking of the Judgment Day, Rhea Ripley's boys, Damian Priest and Finn Balor, got their hands full with Mustafa Ali and Ricochet this Sunday night at our live premiere event. The WWE World Tag Team Championships will be on the line in another interpromotional battle. Ricochet and Ali defend the gold against Priest and Balor, the Judgment Day. Rhea Ripley will be in her corner, will be in their corner this Sunday night, but tonight she has got her hands full on her own. And I'm sure Rhea looks at this as an opportunity, opposing the women's champion and the number one contender on her side. Rhea Ripley gets her hand raised tonight. She could easily be putting herself in line for a future WWE Women's Championship opportunity. All remains to be seen what the result of this matchup here at Raw Homecoming will be. But as we mentioned, momentum riding on the line with such a high stakes women's championship matchup approaching this Sunday. Neither the champion nor challenger looking to leave New York City heading to Philadelphia with a loss in hand. All remains to be seen. It's already been a chaotic night of action here at Raw Homecoming, but it is set to continue as Liv Morgan and Shayna Baszler, the champion and the challenger for this Sunday, set to kick things off. Shayna Baszler, look at this, unloading with the on the champion with some strikes. As we mentioned, Shayna Baszler has been dominating Friday Night SmackDown for quite some time, and she gets her chance to be the champion of the entire WWE this Sunday. But Liv Morgan trying to prove all our doubters wrong as she's taking the fight to Shayna Baszler six nights ahead before their championship bout. Liv Morgan took down Asuka who had been dominating the WWE for the better part of a year as the women's champion. If Liv can do that, who's to say she can't take down the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler? Liv taking her to the outside right now. We just got a new announce table out of here. It'd be great if these women don't break it again. But Liv nonetheless taking the fight to the Queen of Spades, and what a drop kick to the side of the head. There is a sense of urgency, almost a fuel to the fire of Liv Morgan tonight. She has taken the fight to Shayna Baszler inside the ring, outside the ring, trying to prove a point ahead of King of the Ring. Shayna just trying to get Liv Morgan off of her right now. Liv is bringing the fire, and Shayna Baszler turning the tides, a slam on the outside of the ring. Liv Morgan better be careful who she picks a fight with who she tries to scrap with. Shayna Baszler, one of the toughest strikers in the women's division. Liv Morgan has got her hands full with the Queen of Spades, but here comes the champion. Off the ropes, tilt to whirl, head scissors, down goes Baszler. Into the cover, momentum on the line, and Rhea Ripley not gonna allow Shayna Baszler to come up short. Alexa Bliss taking care of the Nightmare Rhea Ripley, and Liv Morgan continues to take on her challenger. A tag made to the goddess. As we mentioned, Alexa Bliss and Liv Morgan, they've been teaming up on and off for quite some time. So seems to be go-to partners, good friendship between the two. Alexa Bliss not looking to do her friend dirty tonight. Sure, Alexa wants to make her friend proud and get that victory ahead of King of the Ring this Sunday. So Alexa is taking the fight. Look at that. Knee right to the arm of Shayna Baszler. You take out the arms of Baszler, you maybe take out some of the submission holds in the Queen of Spades. And very well, Abe Liv Morgan this Sunday night when the title's on the line. Shayna's just trying to get back into this. Here comes the champion yet again. A little bit of a King of the Ring preview in the midst of this matchup. And Liv getting set over the top rope. And now the Nightmare, Rhea Ripley, looking to pick the scraps of the champion and send her back inside of the ring. Liv Morgan is in enemy territory right now. This is not where Liv wants to be. She does not want to risk injury. Any further damage going into a championship fight on Sunday night. And a double team there out of the Queen of Spades and the Nightmare of the Judgment Day. Rhea Ripley has been on a roll for herself here on Monday Night Raw as of late. Who remembers that Canadian street fight just a handful of weeks ago against the Queen of Hearts, Natalia? Absolutely intimidating victory for Rhea Ripley. 
Rhea trying to build some momentum for herself on Monday Night Raw. Get herself in contention for the WWE Women's Championship. A win in this tag team matchup tonight. Whether she pins the champion or Alexa Bliss could certainly aid Rhea Ripley in doing so. Look at this, look at the muscle out of Rhea Ripley, sending the champion high in the sky, right in front of her tag team partner with absolutely no remorse. Rhea Ripley looking to eradicate the women's champion Liv Morgan before she even makes it to Philadelphia. This is what the champion and Alexa Bliss cannot allow. Rhea Ripley and Shayna Baszler controlling the pace. And Liv trying to fight out. She's in her corner right now. Trying to get Rhea Ripley off her tail. Liv Morgan could really use a tag here to Alexa Bliss. And there it is. Could see a little tag team offense out of Bliss. And Liv Morgan now. And there you go. Simply an effective axe hammer on the arm of Rhea Ripley. And a smart place, I'd say, to try to take out Rhea. Take out the arms. Take out some of the strength of the Nightmare. Into the cover goes Alexa Bliss. Not just yet. It'll take a lot more to keep down the Eradicator. Alexa Bliss, we have seen her contend for the Women's Championship in recent history. She was a part of that five-woman elimination matchup dating back to backlash in April. Remember, Alexa was down to the final three with Liv Morgan and Asuka in that matchup, and oh, man! Wasn't afraid to fight her tag team partner then. When the championship's on the line, you know Alexa and Liv Morgan will do anything necessary to walk away the champion, but right now it is about Liv Morgan building momentum towards her one-on-one -on -one contest with Shayna Baszler on Sunday. Liv back in here and Rhea Ripley looking to change the course of this matchup. Oh no, Eradicator. Thought she would have been going for the electric chair, instead splits out with it. Face first goes Liv, into the cover goes Rhea Ripley and almost had the victory in this tag team affair in Madison Square Garden. Liv Morgan is dazed. Oh, wait a minute. Rhea Ripley turning the tides on the woman who's not even legal in this matchup. Alexa Bliss getting sent off the apron. And Liv Morgan in an underdog position right now, outnumbered against Rhea Ripley and other legal woman, Shayna Baszler. And Baszler unloading on Liv. Step up, Superwoman punch. And that may be all she wrote. Imagine if Shayna can defeat Liv six nights before their championship bout. Baszler thought she had her there, but can't allow herself to get frustrated. A lot of those victories for Shayna Baszler as of late on SmackDown, whether it be against Indy Hartwell or Nikita Lyons or Zoe Stark, have been fairly short matchups. Shayna Baszler's gonna realize that she is in there with a woman who outlasted Asuka to win the women's championship. It is not gonna be an easy battle. Live off the double knees, but Shayna trying to survive herself. Stiff forearm shot right to Liv Morgan. And wait a minute, Shayna turned her tides to Alexa Bliss. They cost her there. Here comes the champion with a hip toss. Nice kick by Liv. Shayna Baszler's rocked. And down goes Baszler with that same face plant that defeated Asuka. And Rhea Ripley breaking things up, but Liv Morgan almost defeating her challenger ahead of King of the Ring. Alexa taking care of Rhea. Wait a minute. Counter by Shayna Baszler there, and face first goes Liv. Here we go as this matchup is starting to pick up some steam. Here in Madison Square Garden, and down goes the women's champion. Baszler hooks the leg into the cover. Almost had Liv Morgan there, not just yet. And Shane is getting frustrated. She cannot allow this, especially this Sunday. Wait a minute here. Oh no, oh no! Shayna Baszler's got that chokehold locked in on Liv Morgan. Liv's got nowhere to go. No tag team partner in sight. And the women's champion has tapped out to Shayna Baszler. That is not gonna play well into the mindset of Liv Morgan come this Sunday at King of the Ring. I'll oh, bite, it was a hard fought matchup. Liv Morgan may have tapped simply to avoid further injury, but nonetheless, Shayna Baszler just defeated the women's champion that you will meet on Sunday. Here are your winners, Shayna Baszler and Rhea Ripley. You want to talk about a momentum shifter? The Queen of Spades has certainly got to be the favorite. 
coming up this Sunday when she goes one-on-one -on -one with the woman who just tapped out to her very chokehold inside of that ring. Who is going to lead Philadelphia this Sunday night live at 5 p.m. Eastern time, King of the Ring for the WWE Women's title. Do you want access to a bonus Universe Mode episode every single month? Well, now you have the chance. Click the join button down below and become a NOAA Nation Gaming channel member. Not only will you receive one bonus Universe Mode episode every single month, but you'll receive access to exclusive badges, emojis, discounted merchandise, and more. Become a Premium Pass channel member today and don't miss out on these exclusive perks. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. That is for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. It is time for our Intercontinental Championship matchup in Madison Square Garden, New York City. These hallowed halls have played host to many great Intercontinental Championship bouts over the years, and another one is about to be added to that legendary list. The number one contender, Apollo Crews, former Intercontinental Champion in his own right, also a former United States Champion. This man's been picking up some steam on Monday Night Raw as of late. Recent victory over Cedric Alexander, recent victory over former WWE Champion in the New Day's Kofi Kingston. Apollo Crews certainly a deserving challenger and certainly a man that threatens to dethrone Ilya Dragunov and take away that prestigious Intercontinental Gold. Ilya Dragunov has had one impressive reign since winning the gold back in February at WrestleMania. But Apollo Crews looks to be the kryptonite, if you will, to the Invincible One. It would not be Monday Night Raw homecoming without a championship on the line. And the Intercontinental Championship set to take center stage in the world's most famous arena. Apollo Crews looks laser focused tonight. That man is hungry. That man is ready for gold. He has definitely made some waves since being drafted to Monday Night Raw back in March. And now looking for the highest achievement of the Intercontinental title. But here comes the opposer, the invincible Ilya Dragunov. The Intercontinental Champion. Dragunov has turned away the challenges of Butch at WrestleMania. Shinsuke Nakamura. Ilya Dragunov has went one-on-one -on -one with Tyler Bate, one-on-one -on -one with Xavier Woods, all in contest for his Intercontinental Gold, and he has walked out on the other side. Now Apollo Crews looks to step up and again be the kryptonite to the Invincible One that we have not seen as Ilya Dragunov has taken Monday Night Raw by storm month after month since his debut. And remember the news we found out just a little bit earlier tonight at the channel member exclusive WWE Live event this Saturday evening. It will be the Bruiserweight Butch taking on the big strong boy, Tyler Bate. The winner of that match will meet the winner of this matchup in the near future for the Intercontinental Championship. Whole lot riding on the line. Everybody wants a crack at the Intercontinental Gold that currently resides around the waist of the Invincible One, Ilya Dragunov. Dragging off as tough as they come. And I know he is not looking to let up his tight hold on that Intercontinental title anytime soon. But Apollo Crews may give Dragunov no choice here tonight. Apollo is fired up. It is a big fight feel here in Madison Square Garden. And that goal that is around the waist of Ilya Dragunov is certainly in jeopardy right here, right now. Intercontinental Championship on the line. Monday Night Raw homecoming in MSG. Let's send things down to the ring for your official match introductions. Introducing the challenger from Benway State, Nigeria, weighing in at 241 pounds, Apollo Cruz. And his opponent from Moscow, Russia, Weighing in at 187 pounds, he is the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Ilya Dragunov!
Ilya Dragunov has been a fighting, defending champion, but will that come to an end live here tonight in New York City? Apollo Crews taking a look at the gold that could be bestowed around his waist in a matter of moments. Well, homecoming has been one hell of an event thus far. Still so much more to come, but the championship takes center focus. Apollo Crews, Ilya Dragunov, intercontinental title right here, right now. Let's get it going in New York City. Collar and elbow, I'm sure these, oh, wait a minute. I was about to say these men gonna feel each other out, but Apollo Cruz going for the kill early. Might have had Dragon off there, had the referee not have been a little bit out of position, but nonetheless, Apollo Cruz going for the kill. He wants the Intercontinental Championship by hook or by crook. Both of strikes with the Ilya Dragon off. I don't know if that's a smart decision. Dragon off certainly one of the hardest strikers in the Monday Night Raw locker room, but Apollo Crews going to try to hold his own if necessary. Crews certainly with the size and strength advantage in this matchup. The Dragon off tough as nails inside of that ring. As we mentioned, he has turned away the challenges of Tyler Bate. Butch, two men who have another opportunity at Ilya Dragon off and could possibly be the man who, if Ilya Dragunov leaves this matchup as Intercontinental Champion, will go back, will watch the tape, and figure out what they went wrong, and they might possibly be the kryptonite to the Intercontinental Championship reign, but we can't count out Apollo Crews, because the maneuver is like that. Balance and precision and strength as Apollo. Nice combination of maneuvers there, and I had a feeling Apollo Crews may be Ilya Dragunov's toughest test as Intercontinental Champion just so far. Washing Dragon off in the corner. Now look at this, look at the size, the strength, the muscle out of Apollo Crews. And it's maneuvers like that that are gonna give Dragon off a run for his money. Look at Butch, you look at Tyler Bate, you look at Shinsuke Nakamura. Similar styles to Ilya Dragunov. Striking and very technical prowess of all three, but Apollo Crews, something that Dragunov has not faced in his Intercontinental Championship reign thus far. Hence the reason Crews may be most dangerous to the reign thus far, as after the spine buster, almost had Dragunov. Apollo Crews, throwing everything in the kitchen sink in just a matter of moments at Ilya so far. Dragunov has got no answer for the top contender right now. Cruz knows what it's like to hold the gold. As we mentioned, a former United States champion, a former Intercontinental champion in his own right. Wants to do it again, kicking off tonight at Raw Homecoming. Hollow up and Dragunov off. Dragunov able to avoid whatever Cruz had in mind, stopping the momentum. There's a whip by the Ilya Dragunov, the invincible one. Nice knee! Down goes Cruz and follows up with a senton. Ilya Dragunov trying to build some momentum for himself in this Intercontinental Championship matchup. Dropping the axe hammer on the spine of his top contender, Apollo Cruz. Cruz was in control for a few moments. Ilya Dragunov trying to shift the momentum. There's a counter by the number one contender. As we mentioned, Butch and Tyler Bay one-on-one -on -one this Saturday night. The winner of that match fights the winner of this contest in the near future for the Intercontinental Championship. Whatever combination of superstars you want to pair together certainly will be another great matchup for the Intercontinental Championship. Dragging off down and out. Apollo Cruz has been in control the majority of this contest so far. Has tried multiple near falls, but not able to keep Ilya Dragunov down. But sends him to the outside, and a vicious fall to ringside for the champion. Dragunov on spaghetti legs. Here comes Apollo Crews. The precision taking things to the sky and crushing the heart of the Intercontinental Champion at ringside. Apollo Crews, he may have the size and strength advantage tonight, but that man is no stranger to going high risk, and as you just saw there, high reward. Now Cruz heading back up to the top rope. Just awaiting Dragunov to get to his feet and a crossbody. And that's gonna hurt like hell with someone the size of Apollo Cruz crushing your soul on the canvas. And Apollo wants that Intercontinental Championship more than life itself tonight. Another spine buster. Will that do it? And Dragunov kicked out, but you see the Lack of enthusiasm, if I say so myself, in that kickoff by the Invincible One. Dragunov is hurting right now. 
And he may not have an answer for Apollo Crews, but that lariat may do it. Not able to keep Crews down. Crews goes for one of his own. Dragunov was able to block it. Dragunov's got to get back into this matchup. Nice shot. Delivers a dose. As we mentioned at the top of this matchup, I don't know if you want to throw strikes with the invincible one. Ilya Dragunov, I think, has got the forte, the strong suit in there. And look at him just slapping Apollo Crews dead across the face. Oh, my goodness. Hard-hitting blows by the Intercontinental Champion. Dragunov fighting from underneath. Down goes Cruz into the cover. Almost had him there, but Apollo Cruz kicks out. Ilya Dragunov's wheels are spinning. And oh no, the champion's heading to the corner. Could be looking for that torpedo. Headbutt on Apollo, but Apollo sidesteps it. Oh no, big time elevated slam by Apollo Cruz. That has won him matches in recent memory. But it's not enough to keep the champion down. Ilya Dragunov survives after that sidestep by Apollo Crews. And Crews is keeping his foot on the gas pedal. Dragunov is dazed using the ropes to get to his feet. He might have kicked out, but how much more does Dragunov have left in the tank after this onslaught by the number one contender? And now Cruz heading to the top again. Frog splash! And Ilya Dragunov has got to be begging for mercy internally right now. We have got ourselves a battle for the Intercontinental Championship match in the world's most famous arena. And Dragunov starting to come alive. Grabs the boot of Apollo, takes the legs out from under him, and here comes the Intercontinental Champion. All the great men that have held that prestigious Intercontinental gold in this very building. You want to talk Razor Ramon. You want to talk Shawn Michaels. Ilya Dragunov wants to be a part of that legendary list. Back into the corner. Torpedo! The headbutt. And Apollo Crews may be knocked out cold. Crews gave Dragunov one hell of a fight. But the Invincible One is leaving the Big Apple, still the Intercontinental Champion. A great athletic contest between these two fighters, but in the end, only one man's leaving New York City, holding the Intercontinental Gold. Here is your winner, and still, WWE Intercontinental Champion, Ilya. Another great performance by Dragunov in the midst of his Intercontinental Championship reign. Ladies and gentlemen, over the last number of weeks, you have witnessed 16 men battle it out in the King of the Ring tournament. Well, things are going to come to a close this Sunday in Philadelphia. The semifinals and finals taking place live, representing Monday Night Raw, Seth freaking Rollins, and the King of Strong Style, Shinsuke Nakamura. What a battle that is going to be between two red brand superstars. And on the opposite side of the bracket, representing SmackDown, Austin Theory, and the phenomenal AJ Styles. The winners of those two matches meet in an interpromotional final to determine the 2023 King of the Ring. What a monumental night it has been here in MSG with the action set to continue as we got an open challenge issued by the street champ, Solo Sokoa. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 250 pounds, Solo this monster has run a rough shot over Monday Night Raw. Recently picked apart Shelton Benjamin in a one-on-one -on -one matchup just a few weeks ago. Soul Sokoa wanted to be a part of the festivities tonight at Raw Homecoming, issuing this open challenge to the entire Monday Night Raw locker room. And we're going to find out who stepped up to fight the street champ in moments. But let's be real, who honestly, willingly wants to step into the ring with Soul Sokoa? This man is dangerous, former NXT North American champion. We're gonna take Monday Night Raw by storm, match after match, victim after victim. 
Oh, ho, ho. well, Solo's got himself a challenge. And his opponent from Battle Creek, Michigan, weighing in at 235 pounds, Rob Van Dam. Mr. Monday Night, Rob Van Dam. Back here on Monday Night Raw after a short hiatus. And RVD accepting the open challenge of Solo Sokoa in the world's most famous arena in a city that RVD's got a hell of a lot of history in. Well, this is going to be one hell of a matchup here on Raw Homecoming between Mr. Monday Night himself and the Street Champ. In addition to what has already been one hell of an evening here in New York City. Still to come in moments, your steel cage main event between John Cena and Sami Zayn with a whole lot riding on that matchup regarding King of the Ring this Sunday. But nonetheless, Sol Sokoa one on one with RVD. Let's get things going here at Raw Homecoming. Oh, and Solo. Look at this throwing strikes right out of the gate. My goodness. And this is why we said, I don't know who would willingly want to take the fight with Sol Sokoa, but. RVD, a daredevil to say the least. Solo going for the win early, and he's got to know better than to keep a Hall of Famer down with such ease. RVD, not looking to back down from any challenge. Saw an opportunity to make his way through the current here in MSG tonight, and he absolutely jumped on it. Right now, things not looking so hot for RVD is Solo Sokoa all over Mr. Monday Night. The street champ wants to make a name for himself on Monday Night Raw. Absolutely ran over Soul, or excuse me, I should say Shelton Benjamin a number of weeks ago. Now looking to do the same to Rob Van Dam. And so far, so good for the street champ. RVD, no answer for Solo. This monster is all over Mr. Monday Night himself. And loading on RVD with these strikes. There's a counter. RVD can be a striker of his own. Also knows how to take things to the air. Gets Solo off his feet. Now here comes Van Dam unloading on Solo Sokoa. This is what RVD needs to try to get a W in this matchup. It's one thing to take Solo Sokoa off his feet. It's a whole nother thing to keep him down. But RVD may have the right tools to do so this evening. Solo run to the outside, but nowhere to run from RVD. Nice cross body and fouls over the moonsault. Van Dam knows he's got to keep the foot on the gas pedal in order to defeat Sol Sokoa here tonight in MSG. Of course, he can only get victory inside the squared circle, so RVD can definitely use the outside to try to get an advantage and beat down Sol Sokoa, but he's got to get the one, two, three inside the confines of the ropes. And a big counter by Solo. Face first off the floor. And follows it up with that senton. RVD down and out. Sol Sokoa breaking the count. You notice Sol Sokoa right there heading to the outside. Solo much more interested in getting the pinfall victory tonight. Wants to make some noise against RVD. Going for the moonsault there. Nobody home. Sol Sokoa up against the barricade and RVD crashing and burning at ringside. And momentum handed back on a silver platter to the street champ who follows it up with a nice takedown on RVD right there. And the beatdown commences. RVD may rue the day. He accepted the open challenge from Solo Sokoa. And a Samoan drop. RVD's getting flashbacks from being in the ring with some of the other great Samoans. Agumaga, who Solo very much resembles inside of that ring. And off the splash, and RVD able to survive, but for how much longer? It's a game of endurance against Solo Sokoa. That's one thing we know for sure. Solo is not done inflicting the punishment. A headbutt there. And RVD is down and out right now. I do not know if he has got the answer to Solo Sokoa here tonight. Wanted the headbutt there, and nobody home. Solo crashing and burns off the canvas. Rob Van Dam's got to get going. Solo now in a predicament. 
as RVD may be looking to take things high to the sky. Split legged moonsault into the cover. Classic out of Van Dam, but not enough to keep Solo down. Solo's hurting, and wait a minute, RVD looking for the kill. Five star frog splash. Big time win for Rob Van Dam. Solo Sokoa upset in his own open challenge by the Hall of Famer, Mr. Monday Night RVD, making an impact on his Monday Night Raw return. What a victory for the whole damn show. Here is your winner, Rob Van Dam. Well, that win has got to feel good for RVD here at Madison Square Garden. I'm sure Solo Sokoa is going to be back to hunt RVD yet again, but tonight belongs to Mr. Monday Night. RVD with a big time victory on Raw Homecoming. And coming up this Saturday is the WWE Live event for channel members only. Hammerstein Ballroom, a building RVD knows very well. Hit the join button down below and don't miss a moment of the action. Do you want access to a bonus universe mode episode every single month? Well, now you have the chance. Click the join button down below and become a NOAA Nation Gaming channel member. Not only will you receive one bonus universe mode episode every single month, but you'll receive access to exclusive badges, emojis, discounted merchandise, and more. Become a premium pass channel member today and don't miss out on these exclusive perks. We are live this Sunday night for the Wells Fargo Center in Philadelphia, 5 p.m. Eastern time for the 2023 King of the Ring. And the semifinals of that very tournament will take place representing Monday Night Raw. Seth freaking Rollins, one-on-one -on -one with the King of Strong Style, Shinsuke Nakamura. And who will be opposing one of these men from Friday Night SmackDown? It is eight town down, Austin Theory, the phenomenal AJ Styles. The winners of your two semifinal matches meet in the finals of the King of the Ring this Sunday in Philadelphia. Earlier tonight, she tapped out the champion. Momentum is on the side of the number one contender. Liv Morgan may be your current reigning defending women's champion, but she is walking into this match an underdog. It's Liv versus Shayna for the women's gold. Another interpromotional matchup taking place. It is Raw's Judgment Day. Damian Priest and Finn Balor battle SmackDown's Mustafa Ali and Ricochet for the WWE World Tag Team Championship. The final chapter and an epic storied rivalry will be written in WWE's first ever Extreme Lucha Rules match for the Cruiserweight title. Santos Escobar defends against Rey Mysterio. In SmackDown's main event, the World Heavyweight Championship will be on the line. The Rated R Superstar looking for one more run with the gold, but Drew McIntyre not looking to let up his reign as World Champion anytime soon. And in the Monday Night Raw main event, the original bro Matt Riddle defends his WWE Championship against the prize fighter Kevin Owens. The question that we are about to have answered is will Sami Zayn make it to King of the Ring and be in the corner of his best friend Kevin Owens? We find that out right now in your main event from Madison Square Garden. The steel cage about to be lowered. And this arrogant son of a bitch is going to be locked inside with the franchise player of WWE. The following contest is a steel cage match. Making his way to the ring from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 212 pounds, Sammy Zayn. The king of the ring is live this Sunday at 5 p.m. Eastern time. The question remains, Will Sami Zayn be in his best friend Kevin Owens' corner for the matchup against Matt Riddle when the WWE title's on the line? And of course, the whole reason Sami Zayn is about to step inside a steel cage with John Cena is because if it weren't for Sami Zayn, John Cena very well may be the one challenging Matt Riddle this Sunday for the WWE title. 
That was then. This is now. Cena's got an opportunity at payback and an opportunity to even the playing field for his buddy Matt Riddle with the WWE titles on the line in Philadelphia. And his opponent from West Newbury, Massachusetts, weighing in at 251 pounds, John Cena! John Cena is back! in the garden madison square garden has played host to one of the most prestigious and memorable memories in john cena's hall of fame career and it very well may see another moment for john cena here tonight as he steps into the main event of raw homecoming one-on-one -on -one with the great liberator Sami Zayn. And what promises to be a barbaric showcase inside that solid steel cage. John Cena is fired up. He is looking for retribution on one of the men who took away an opportunity to challenge for the WWE title. Cena, of course, getting traded to Monday Night Raw over a month ago. Aiding Matt Riddle in a tag team matchup against Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. A lot of recent history between the franchise and the Great Liberator, but it's time to settle the score in your Raw Homecoming main event. The cage has been lowered, the bell has sounded. Sami Zayn's got nowhere to run, nowhere to hide from John Cena. No Kevin Owens tonight, no Matt Riddle tonight. It is down to Zayn, excuse me, Cena and Zayn, and the result remains to be seen. Sami Zayn comes up short. He will not be making the plane trip to Philadelphia. He won't even be allowed in the arena come Sunday night. And I'm sure that'll really alter the plans of the KO and Sami show who are trying to take away the WWE title from the original bro. All remains to be seen. John Cena trying to make sure that that does not happen. Trying to even the playing field for Matt Riddle come Sunday. And trying to get some retribution back at the man who was consistently taken Cena's eye off the ball in that number one contender's battle with Kevin Owens a number of weeks ago. Hey, back in the mind of the franchise tonight, but so far not looking too hot against Sami Zayn in Madison Square Garden. I'm sure Sami Zayn is coming to this matchup with a strategy tonight to try to incapacitate John Cena and possibly take him out of the picture and have Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn march into Philadelphia and take away the title for Matt Riddle. Submission hold by Sammy. I'm sure Sami Zayn would love to eliminate John Cena from future WWE Championship contention as well, but John Cena's got other plans in mind. Don't call him Big Match John for nothing. He thrives under these situations. It is not going to be an easy task either way around the bend, but Sami Zayn has certainly got his hands full tonight. Who's going to be coming in contact with the cold, hard steel first? That is certainly a question. The last time we had a steel cage match here on Raw, just a few weeks before WrestleMania earlier this year, and one of those men involved in that matchup was Kevin Owens. John Cena now trying to get back into this matchup. Your Raw homecoming main event against Sami Zayn. Sending him for a ride there. Vintage franchise player. It's been an awesome night here in New York City, Madison Square Garden. We want to thank you for joining us for only the first of three live premieres this week. Super SmackDown coming up on Friday night from the Capital One Arena in Washington, D.C. That will feature Guther versus Cody Rhodes for the first time ever for the United States Championship. It'll be live at 5 p.m. Eastern Time this Friday night. And then, of course, King of the Ring on Sunday, 5 p.m. Eastern Time from Philadelphia. Don't miss the channel member exclusive on Saturday night from Hammerstein Ballroom. Hit the join button down below and don't miss a second of the action of the biggest week in Universe Mode history. Raw Homecoming has showed exactly why it is that. Cena getting caught up as Sami Zayn elbows him right in the midsection in a clothesline. And here comes the Great Liberator trying to build some momentum over the franchise player. Take nothing away from the in-ring talents of Sami Zayn. Him and Kevin Owens don't need to rely on underhanded tactics to get it done. It's just simply their forte. John Cena getting hung up in the top rope there. 
The man can't breathe, he can't fight, and Sami Zayn trying to execute that to perfection in your steel cage main event. John Cena down and out. We're starting to build some momentum until Sami Zayn cut him off. And now Zayn is in firm control here in MSG. Oh, it's the ground and pound on John Cena. As we mentioned, I'm sure Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens are thinking five steps ahead as whether you like him or not, you got to give him credit. They always seem to do. I'm sure Sami Zayn wants to not only defeat John Cena tonight, but eliminate him from competition here on Monday Night Raw. That way, in Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn's mind, they can hopefully take away the WWE Championship from Matt Riddle, waltz into Raw next week, and not have to worry about Riddle nor Cena any longer. That is a far-fetched stream, but John Cena has got other plans. Sami Zayn meets the steel cage, and John's looking to follow it up with a little you can't see me, a little five knuckle shuffle. Into the cover. And only a two count there as Sami Zayn survives, but John Cena within a snap of the fingers changing the tides of this matchup. Zayn coming in contact with the steel cage, followed up with the five knuckle shuffle. Zayn might have survived with the damage certainly done. Sami Zayn has got to be hurting right now as John Cena is in control. He's got his eyes locked on this steel cage. I don't know what Cena's got in mind, but certainly is going to be pain and brutality for the man who aided him and taken away a WWE Championship match. Back into the corner goes John Cena. Zayn's just trying to fight to survive right now. Oh no, in the corner, Tornado DDT for about the third or fourth time in the match. And Zayn into the cover yet again, but Cena kicks out this time. John Cena's now gotta be reeling. Again, I think that might be the third or maybe fourth DDT by Zayn, and he follows it up with a big boot, Haluva kick style. And John Cena kicks out. Zayn might not have gotten all of that on the Haluva kick, a move he usually hits in the corner. Might have been second guessing if he had the room with the steel cage right there, elected to hit it dead center of the ring. Might not have had the same impact, but that certainly did as Sami Zayn eats the cage again. John Cena once again sends Zayn into the cage. This match was dubbed rage in the cage for a reason john cena coming unglued unleashing a hell-bent pursuit of payback on zane right now as he is eating the steel cage for dinner nowhere to run nowhere to hide john cena has got Sami Zayn down and begging for mercy as he's scaling the side of the cage on the top rope and drops the elbow didn't get all of it there but Sami Zayn still down nonetheless. It is worth noting that there is no escape in this matchup, ladies and gentlemen. Climbing over the cage or going through the door isn't going to do you any good. The cage is there to keep you inside. This match can only be won by pinfall or submission tonight. Sami Zayn atop the ropes by hands of John Cena. I'm sure he's got in mind. Elevated DDT. And John going for the cover. Payback in the victory. But not just yet as Sami Zayn kicks out again. John Cena knows what's at stake in this matchup. Look, looking to even the playing field for the man that he helped do so a few weeks ago on Raw. Matt Riddle come this Sunday. That way there's no Sami Zayn and hell no John Cena. There's no anybody to stick their nose in the WWE title match come Philadelphia. It's only going to be the case if John Cena can either pin Sami Zayn's shoulders to the mat or make him submit. And here comes Zayn trying to make sure that that does not happen on his watch. Taking Cena off his feet. And Sami deliver the drop kick, basement style, right to the side of the dome of the franchise player. With a beatdown once again commencing. It's been one hell of a steel cage matchup. Live from New York City, Madison Square Garden, awesome night it has been. Karrion and Cross just surviving Bobby Lashley, if I dare say so, in the opening matchup. About Shayna Baszler tapping out the women's champion, Liv Morgan, ahead of their battle on Sunday. 
Ilya Dragunov retaining the Intercontinental Championship in a great wrestling match against Apollo Crews. Rob Van Dam shocking Sol Sokoa a few moments ago, scoring that victory over the street champ. Now Sami Zayn and John Cena fighting tooth and nail to try to come up the victor inside the confines of this solid steel cage. And right now, Sami Zayn has got a firm grasp of the control of this contest. John Cena is starting to look worse for wear. And as this matchup progresses, the brutality of a steel cage matchup is certainly going to play into the result. Cena now trying to get out in the corner he's fighting. Taking down Sami Zayn with a simply an effective shoulder block. Zayn trapped into the corner. Here comes Cena. A monkey flip sending Sami Zayn halfway across the ring. And now John's going for a little you can't see me for a dose. A second time in this match. Five knuckles shuffle on Sami Zayn. Cena not going for the cover. John is not done yet. John Cena smells blood in the water. Sami Zayn now in the corner. I don't know what Cena's got in mind. Let's put Sami Zayn on the top rope a couple of times. Wait a minute here. A rare move out of the arsenal of Cena. A super attitude adjustment from the top, from the heavens. But somehow Sami Zayn survives. How the hell, after all the brutality of this steel cage match, did Sami Zayn pop the shoulder up after that super AA? Looked like Cena might have been going for a dose, but Sami countered, and there's a reversal by Cena. This matchup off that super AA, and the kick out has kicked into a new gear. A sense of urgency out of both competitors, if you will. Nothing pretty about those shots. Cena going Boston street style here in New York City. Cena's got to be racking his brain. A rare occurrence. I don't know the last time somebody kicked out of a Super AA. But Sami Zayn may be stealing the victory off the kick. No, not just yet. Not just yet. John Cena survives just as Sami Zayn did and the main event rolls on. This is what Madison Square Garden is all about. The matches, the moments, the pageantry as John Cena now fighting from underneath. Sami Zayn down and out, the franchise player dropping the ax hammer. Now what has Cena got in mind? Scaling the ropes again, scaling the side of the steel cage again and coming off the top with the elbow to the heart. Kevin Owens has got to be watching this in the backstage area on the edge of his seat, hoping and praying that Sami Zayn is going to stand in his corner and they can have the advantage come this Sunday night in Philadelphia. But the human body can only withstand so much contact with unforgiving steel as Sami Zayn is finding out firsthand right now. The power of John Cena to send Sammy over the top and into the cage is absolutely unmatched. Cena not done just yet. Looking to outrun the Great Liberator and take him off his feet. Sammy Zayn, I don't know if he's going to be able to get back into this matchup as John is in control. Cena's really letting out some, some anger on Sami Zayn, if you will, some frustration. Where Zayn took his eye off the ball one too many times and helped Kevin Owens become the number one contender for the WWE Championship. Cena will live to fight another day. Cena will get his shot in due time, but tonight is about retribution and about even the playing field for somebody Cena respects in Matt Riddle come this Sunday. And now Cena for a third time could be looking for that five knuckle shuffle. And if he hits this, that may be the end to Sami Zayn's trip to the Big Apple. And Cena might be going for the kill. Looking for the exclamation point on this matchup. Attitude adjustment, no! Sammy gets off the shoulders. Survival instincts out of the great liberator. Cena was in control for a few moments, but Sami Zayn still somehow has a fire in his heart to keep fighting. So that doesn't tell you how much Sammy and 
quite frankly, Kevin Owens are desperate for the advantage come this Sunday in Philadelphia. I don't know what will. John Cena thought he had him off the five knuckle shuffle for a third time. Went for the AA to no avail, and Zane almost had him off the snap German. John Cena might have thrown his best shot, might have shown his best cards in this matchup. The Super AA wasn't enough. What will be a Zane Tornado DDT after running up the ropes. Cena's taken a lot of dumps on his head throughout this matchup. The surgically repaired neck of Cena may not be in good shape right now. These two men giving Madison Square Garden in New York City an absolute showcase inside of this steel cage. John Cena avoiding whatever Zayn had in mind. Nice shot. Down goes Cena off the Michinuku driver. And Sami Zayn might be nearing victory. The great liberator of Monday Night Raw. The KO and Sami show have caused anarchy and chaos on the red brand all year long since reigniting side by side and that may continue and may get worse than ever if Kevin Owens has Sammy in his corner on Sunday. Let's count it by Cena. Wait a minute. Attitude adjustment into the cover. Sammy Zane, your flight for Philadelphia has been canceled at the hands of John Cena. One hell of a fight inside of the steel cage but only one man was walking away the victor and that is the franchise in msg what a matchup what survival out of the franchise matt riddle will defend the wwe championship with Sami Zayn nowhere to be found. It is an even playing field. This Sunday night in Philadelphia as Kevin Owens meets Matt Riddle for the WWE Championship. John Cena getting the job done here tonight. But will Matt Riddle be able to do the same and put an end to this KO and Sami problem once and for all when the WWE title's on the line? And it is the conclusion to the King of the Ring tournament. Representing SmackDown, AJ Styles, one-on-one -on -one with Austin Theory in the semifinals this Sunday night. And on the other side of the bracket, Shinsuke Nakamura looks to take down Seth freaking Rollins, who will head to the finals of the King of the Ring. SmackDown's main event for the World Heavyweight Championship, the Rated R Superstar, the Scottish Warrior, one-on-one -on -one for the big gold belt. It is gonna be an awesome, Live premiere event this Sunday in King of the Ring. Join us this Friday night for Super Smackdown and become a channel member for this Saturday night's live event. Thank you for joining us at MSG. Good night, everybody. Face on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise if you hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap. I'm a rock.